My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. This is our new little mink named Vila. When I first got Vila, she was constantly biting me, making my fingertips bleed with her needle-sharp teeth. Since I didn't have a name for her, I started calling her Little Devil, because she always made me say, Ouch, you little devil! I told a friend down south about her, and she said I should name the little mink Vila. Vila is a word in the Cajun French language that means something to the effect of feisty little girl, or something yeah. like that. The chirping sound Vila is making is a contact call the baby mink give when following their mother on hunting trips. It's similar to how baby ducks constantly cheep when following their mother around in the pond. Since Vila views us as her family, she does her best to follow us just like she would her mother and siblings in the wild. So we keep a leash on her for two different reasons. Number one is honestly just to get her accustomed to putting it on. And number two, when we're going for a walk, it's easier to keep her from getting stepped on or following the wrong person. So the main thing is though, you wanna get practice putting that leash on it multiple times every day because when they're older, they hate it. But if you start when they're little, then usually they'll tolerate it. Some even kind of almost seem like they like it as far as not the putting on, but they'll, they'll help you put it on because they're so comfortable with it and they know the leash means they're going somewhere cool. But if you wait and not put it on when they're teeny tiny like this, then it's gonna be a battle the rest of their life. They just hate putting it on. They hate holding still and so. Anyway, we're gonna take the leash off now and let uh, little Vila have some fun in the water, if she will. Let's see what she does. It's common for baby mink and other semi-aquatic mammals like otters to fear deep water, just like how baby raccoons and squirrels have a natural fear of heights. This fear helps to keep the young mink careful, so it doesn't try to swim before it's old enough to safely do so. Oh, it sees me. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're not in the water, I'll go shoot. Hey, look him! Vila! Vila, come on! Vila, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Vila. Should I lift her? Going down, Ellie? Yep. Oh, there you go. Good job. Good job, Vila. Good job, you did it. You went swimming. Girl. Good girl, you're growing up. You went swimming. Oh, good girl. You're not a good girl. Oh, don't bite my nose. No, no biting my nose. <laughs> good girl, go swimming. You're gonna go in my shirt. Oh, there she goes. Turn, turn. Oh, cold, wet mink. <laughs> we got her to swim. It's her first swim. She's growing up. Vila, come on. Vila, come on. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Good girl, Olive. You gotta pay attention. Hold on, be less kind. Of trying to climb it. After swimming, a mink's natural instincts tell it to dry off, so they love to rub themselves on the nearest dry object, which often ends up being their human friend.
Vila didn't actually come from any of the litters of mink I produced this year. Unfortunately, there are people who get pet mink without being prepared for the challenge ahead of them. They see mink as cute, fuzzy little animals, which would be fun to cuddle and play with. After all, ferrets make great pets, so why not the fun-loving aquatic cousin to the ferret? What they don't understand is that ferrets have been selectively bred for calm, tame temperaments for well over a thousand years. Though ranch mink have been in captivity for roughly a hundred years now, there has been little to no selection for tameness or handleability. The selective breeding that has been done is typically for only fur production qualities like color, size, and soft fur. For that reason, ranch mink and wild mink are not significantly different when it comes to their temperaments. They both typically have a natural fear of humans and love to bite every chance they get. Even when obtained from a very young age, mink are still incredibly difficult animals to train and care for. It takes a lot of literal blood, sweat, and tears to teach a young mink not to bite hard enough to hurt their handler. After obtaining little Vila, the people who had her quickly realized that she was more than they could handle. Rio and Houdini litter that I wanted to raise a baby from was born really, really late this year, while Vila was born very, very early. This would allow me to raise two totally separate babies in the same year, since by the time Vila was quite far along in her bonding and training process, a baby from the Rio Houdini litter would be just old enough to start working with. Pocket mink. You want to go up here instead? Get warmer. Mama Sally. Alrighty, so we learned something interesting this morning when I took my little girls out practice fishing. So this is a little kid's fishing pole from Walmart, and it's got this little fake fish on the end of it. And when I saw that, I thought, hmm, I wonder if a mink would like that. This, if, it, if they do, this would be a perfect little training tool for a mink. But you know, every time you get that idea, the mink has no interest in it. It's when you find some random stupid thing that you never thought of that they really like it, right? But this morning, well, we, well I took my little girls out practice fishing, and uh, they're just basically learning to cast, you know, uh, and how the fishing pole works. And it's a lot safer to do it with this than a hook, you know. So anyway, I brought the little mink along and Vila showed that she was super interested in this and actually caught it and cached it a couple times. So we're going to try and use this as a training tool and uh, see how it goes. Sometimes a mink will show interest in something the first time and then lose interest afterwards. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a total dud after the first initial uh, good luck. But if it does work, it would be great because this is not edible. So it's, it's a really tough plastic, but it is slightly rubbery. So it gives a good texture of kind of when they bite it, it feels like flesh kind of, you know, it's not like hard, but it's not so soft that she's gonna be able to bite chunks out of it and ingest them. So it seems like it could be an ideal training tool for fishing uh, if we can get her interested enough to in it. Her interest is pretty mild. Yeah, sometimes it's just a fluke. They'll get interested in something and then they lose interest. She's gonna do a feather. <laughs> Heck, I'll, 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 I'll reward you for it. <laughs> you wanna take something in there? I'll, I'll reward you for it. <laughs> right now, we just wanna learn the concept. She gets rewarded for taking stuff to the box, so I'll give it to her. I'm going to try dipping this thing in meat. Maybe it'll be more appetizing if it smells like food. This morning, though, it didn't have anything on it. And she likes it once it smells like meat. Aha, she knew it was coming. Good girl. She turned around for it, waiting, anticipating the feed. That's good. She's starting to understand the game. Hey, what? 
You like watching the ink play? <laughs> she doesn't know if she wants to attack Pooh Bear or Lammy. <laughs> Can't decide whether she wants to attack Pooh Bear or Lammy. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, okay. Miss him. Uh -huh. Miss him. Hi. Her markings are so pretty. She has a diamond in her chest. Mm -hmm. No, you can't jump in bed. The mink's in your bed. The mink! Don't miss next time where we introduce Vila to catching fish in our 100-gallon aquarium.